congratulations on Without You. We've been playing it on our show now for about a week, and we've been getting some amazing feedback from the listeners out there. So congratulations. Oh, really? That's amazing. <laughs> Awesome. So tell us a little bit about this track. Like I said, we've been getting a lot of feedback about it and people are falling in love with it. So how did the track come about and what was it written all about? Um, so I, I actually wrote the track um, a few years ago um, and I, I tried to produce it a couple of times, but it never really was right. And um, yeah, I kind of tried again this year and it just was the perfect time, perfect sound and it all just came to life and I guess this year was like a brand new year of music for me and so the song, you know, its message is about starting a new chapter so it all just kind of fit in and worked, which was great. Now, one of the things I love about your music is it is such a unique sound. Tell us a little bit about your musical journey because there seems to be so many different sounds that come across in your music. What kind of music did you grow up listening to? I actually grew up listening to a lot of um, alternative, more rock type stuff. So, you know, one of my biggest influences is Evanescence. Um and yeah, I grew up listening to my dad's, like, you know, blues records and all that kind of stuff. So um, the electronic sound actually came a little bit later, but I really, really love the heavier kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your own musical journey. When did you start songwriting and when did you start laying down your own tracks? Um, so I, I've been playing since I could walk, basically. Um, I, I taught myself piano when I was very young and then eventually... You know, when I got to high school, I wanted to be a rock star, so I wanted to learn guitar. So, um, yeah, I've always been learning instruments and teaching myself how to sing and all that kind of stuff. And I guess it wasn't until after high school that I was really interested in the producing and audio side of things. So I'm actually a qualified sound engineer and I studied that further. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of all just fell into place. And, and now I'm at a, play, like a point in my career where... I love the writing, the recording, and also the producing side. So. so prior to COVID, you had the amazing EP Ember come out. You headlined Future Sounds. You played at WOMAD, and then COVID hit, and we all went into hiatus. How did it affect your career, and how did you spend that time when you weren't able to get out there and do shows or anything like that? Yeah, it was... I mean, it was hard for all musicians, I think. And the year that, you know, we went through the pandemic was the year I was meant to release my first debut album. Um, and I had the full plan and everything. And then it all just kind of fell through. And, you know, at the time you kind of think, oh, this is like, this is it. Like, I kind of wanted to give up a little bit, actually. And um, because, yeah, just kind of you couldn't play shows, you couldn't get out there. And everyone's focus was on what was going on, which is understandable. Um, but I guess, you know, I, I truly believe everything happens for a reason and it kind of made me take a step back, reassess what, you know, I was really doing this for and now I've got a full release scheduled this year for a whole bunch of new tracks. So yeah, it all works out. Awesome. That was actually my next question. A lot of people have been asking in their feedback, what next from you? Can we expect another EP? Can we expect another album? So what can we expect this year? Um, so I've got close to six or seven singles coming out this year as well as an EP um, in August as well so there is quite a lot of music coming out and hopefully you know next year will will be an album year so it's all working up to that awesome and what about touring will you look to be able to get out and do some more shows now that everything's opening back up again as well yeah, we're definitely, we're looking um, to book some shows soon. Um, you know, now, yeah, like you said, now that things are slowly opening up, it's just about, um, yeah, finding the opportunities. And yeah, I can't wait to get back on stage. I'm so excited. <laughs> awesome. Now, with without you out there, we know a lot of people have discovered your music for the first time. And we know that everyone's been doing it tough the last few years. How can our listeners support you at the moment and your career? I think just, I mean, because I'm completely independent, so everything that you see, everything that you hear is all done by myself behind the scenes. Um, I, you know, I make that very, you know, clear on my socials, my Instagram, my TikTok, like, I really love showing that process, and just to know that there's people out there that want to see more, that, that, that means so much, and it, you know, helps me keep going, so... 
Awesome. So we encourage everybody out there to start following Mattia on all of the socials, and we'll put some links up there as well on our website so that people can follow you online. But for now, we're going to play without you again on our show. So what would you like to say to everybody out there before they take another listen to this amazing track? I will just say quickly, it's Mattia. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. Um, but yeah, this is just the start of a you know a new chapter for me, a new sound. Um, I love you know you know sending my messages through my music, and I just hope that everyone enjoys it as much as I do. Awesome. 